YLRC, a mini 4K drone under $30. What's up everybody? Welcome to Drone Mania. So this is a drone my friends I purchased from AliExpress for about $30. It's a 4K version. It comes in at 720, available also 1080p and as well 4K, which is what I got. So this is the packaging that it came into this, like a nice little case, no box. So let's open it up. So this is all the content that you see inside. This is what you get. Let's start off with these right here. Let me get them. Okay. These are four separate propeller guards, four separate propellers as you can see or replacement propellers a phillips screwdriver six screws which is what is required to use when screwing in the propellers and two knobs for the controller and this one the last things here they are so here you have uh how to use the app a full instructions on how to use it so that's pretty cool it tells you also how to connect to the app via Wi-Fi to download it through Google. I'm pretty sure as well there is in um, the App Store as well. And tells you how to connect, etc. Stuff like that and how to use the functions in the app. And here you have the user manual, which is in English, Chinese. Tells you directions how to fly the drone, what to do, what not to do, how to install the battery, how to install the AA or AAA batteries, we'll find out soon. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now to the drone itself, uh, sorry, the controller. So this is the controller. It gives you all these functions. Here you have the speed rate, here you have 360 flip, here you have takeoff, here you have land, here you have return to home supposedly, which is not. Here you have headless mode. Here are your trims up, down, left, and right. And that's pretty much it for the controller. Let's see what batteries it takes. Okay, as I can see, it takes here triple uh, A batteries. So let's just install these knobs before we get onto the drone. By the way, there is another version that you can buy of this drone from AliExpress. It's the exactly same one. It just doesn't have the logo here or the branded name. The other one is just plain, but they are identical. The only difference is this has it and the other one doesn't. That's it. Just so you guys know, if you happen to see it or if I leave in the description a uh, link to it, so you'll know that they are exactly the same one. You have nothing to worry about. So it's a foldable drone, as you can see, really tiny and cute till you open it. Then it has, you know, then it gets a little bit bigger. There's the camera right there. It's not an adjustable camera. So it always shows you that one angle that kind of sucks. But what do you expect for under $30? So this is the battery. It's a 3.7 volt 650 milliamp battery so if i'm not mistaken uh, you'll probably get between five to eight minutes depends how you use it what you do if you're recording if you're um, taking pictures if you're doing constant flips etc maybe as well if you're on the strongest speed rate so stuff like that will uh, reduce the flight time but i'm guessing between five to eight minutes which is pretty cool for a small drone and a small battery. So here you have, like I said, the 4K camera and there's another sensor right there, as you can see, or it's a camera right there. And that is for it to be able to fly in hover mode. So, you know, it hovers automatically. So that's a really good feature. And that's, uh, I think, pretty much it for the drone. This is its uh, Wi-Fi connection right there. That's what makes you connect to the app so yeah that's pretty much it so let's get this bad boy um, prepared for a flight and it'll be an indoor flight so let's get to it and we'll discuss more about it and show you as much as i can hope you guys enjoyed the video so my friends we're here downstairs in the gym this is a perfect place for an indoor flight and to test out 
this mini tiny cool looking quadcopter uh, i forgot to mention that uh, here is the charger for it it's a usb charger and this is the output as you can see and you need to charge the battery separate or is it as you can see right there that's where you insert it to charge it and as well <laughs> my bad again i forgot to mention this is the cell phone holder which goes right in there as so so you just snap it in and it holds and you just remove it when you're done with it and that's pretty much it for it if you guys like this video i'd appreciate you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos and speaking of more videos this is just a flight test okay i'm gonna make another video of the camera because for the next video i want to be more in depth about the camera talk about it etc so this is just a flight video to see how it functions how it works what it does if it's good not etc so let's jump into the flight and hope you enjoy this video and don't forget that there's gonna be a later video of the camera itself it's gonna be an indoor flight with the camera as well an outdoor flight as well in the upcoming days so let's jump right into the flight so that's the led lights very strong nice okay so that's done now power on the quadcopter and like all toy gray drones you must do up and then down to connect it and there the lights have stopped flashing which means they have been binded together so we're going to start off by doing an uh, automatic takeoff by pressing the button there it is so as you can see, it's very drifting. It's drifting really, really strong. So that's kind of bad, but uh, of course you can trim that, which is what I'm going to do real quick. So to trim it, you just use these right here. Okay, now it's going a little forward. So you're going to trim it back so it holds. Maybe a little bit more and back so now it's holding the position as you can tell it's holding the position a lot better still a little drift but basically it's holding it so it is doing a good job so far so this is flying it on rate one my friends or speed one for those who don't know yeah it's okay oops So that's the yaw rate on it, how it's going. Let's do some movements. Forward, so that's the speed of forward. This is the max speed of backwards. Max speed of the side. So if you're a beginner, I would suggest this is a really good drone not expensive like i mentioned before under 30 dollars so that's really cheap to get into the hobby grade of flying drones it's also good if you don't have that much money to spend as well so under 30 for 4k hopefully that will be in a later video as i mentioned it's worth it i think so let's put it now in uh, rate speed 2 there's the double sound, the double beep. So now it's in second rate. So as you can see, it's going now faster. So that's pretty good, it's pretty fast, not so bad. I can't wait to do an outdoor flight for this drone and see how well it flies outdoors with some winds, of course, because where I live, it's always windy. So. We see how well they'll do. So this is like I said, second rate speed. And we're going right, okay. Now let's see the yaw, how it spins. So a little bit faster, that's really nice, okay. So now we're gonna go into third rate, my friends, or speed three with the three beeps. There's the three beeps, so now it's in its fastest rate possible whoa that's pretty fast 
has a nice stop as well when going full forward doesn't stop on the dime but pretty good takes I think if I'm not mistaken about a second to stop that's really really fast for this tiny guy pretty impressed with it let's see left not bad really cute little drone I like it really really cute tiny guy <laughs> okay let's see it's yaw now so as you can see a lot faster so that's good not too much faster to be honest but it is uh, pretty fast I'm noticing even after the trims there is still a drift so that is kind of bad I don't like that there's that drift some toy graded drones they do have a better more uh, held of its uh, position even though they don't have GPS of course but some drones do hold the position a lot better but even after trimming it it still has a movement so I'm gonna have to play around with it still see it's still drifting and obviously there's no wind here so it shouldn't be doing that once there's uh, once it has has been uh, trimmed but okay it is a good flyer though to be honest I'm impressed with the flying almost smashed into me so it's pretty good okay let's test out the auto land so I'm gonna press the button right here drops pretty well and stops on the dime that's good okay so let's now test out some flight if some uh, sorry some flips so we're gonna do auto takeoff again there you go now we're gonna do a flip you see how it's drifting now it drifts all over again so that's kind of uh, bad let's uh, actually do Let's actually reset everything and hopefully it'll have a better control of flight and not be so drifty. So if I'm not mistaken, that is uh, two of them out, the left and right to the bottom corners. There we go. It has been reset, so it's been calibrated, sorry. So the calibration is done, it should, do, uh, should fly more stable now. Let's do it again. I like to do it three times okay completely recalibrated hopefully it'll be more stable let's test it out let's do let's go in the light so you guys can see okay so that didn't help at all it just actually made it worse because it removed the trimming and everything so keep that in mind guy if, keep that in mind people if you do go ahead and purchase this drone it's very very it's a big drifter let's just say as you can see it's drifting extremely I see many toy grade drones to know that that is not really that good that is kind of bothering me to be honest with you to always have to trim it but again for $30 okay there it is after the trim so now it's holding the position somewhat okay so let's try the flips anyways gonna want to do a nice close-up for you guys to see huh the flipping is not working ah so you have to wait a sec after pressing the button you have to wait a sec because when you press it there you go let's see if it works right away ah okay so maybe the forward wasn't working or maybe it was just bad connection or something i have no idea let's test it okay so the forward is not working for some reason let's try holding it 
Yeah, so the forward flip is not working on this. This is weird. It shouldn't be doing that. It should be turning and flipping on all directions. So the side works perfect. It does have a really deep drop after the flip, which is not the greatest. Let's try if it goes, if it'll do a left flip. Okay, left is, but as you can see, it flips it slowly and then it just drops extremely. So that is not something I've seen before in toy grade drones, to be honest. So let's try the bottom flip. So unfortunately, what I'm seeing, I don't know if actually that's a defect. I think that's how it actually comes. It's only flipping left and right, not forward or backwards. So look at this. Forward, nothing. Back, nothing. Left goes. And look how much that drops. You see how much that drops? I want to I want to I want to try to calculate how many centimeters of a drop it is after the flip. So let's do the right. What up? Oh, the lights are already flashing. So if you guys know, don't know and new to drones, it means that the, the battery is about to die and it just died. So I don't even think that was eight minutes. Maybe it was five minutes, maybe four minutes. So it is a cute drone. It does have a nice flight. It's a pain that it, it's kind of a bummer that it doesn't do four flips, backward flips, and that the time is really cut short. I honestly thought this is gonna be more than four, more than five minutes, maybe even eight minutes, I thought. So according to what I think, maybe it's about four minutes, maybe five minutes, maybe I'm mistaken. I'll have to see in the camera. Uh, so yeah, it's about, I think maybe five minutes, we'll give it. So there's gonna be another video, like I mentioned before, of the camera. And that is what I'm really, really curious to know, how well the camera looks, how well it performs in terms of, is there lags, if there's like stutters, of the feedback that you receive you know what i mean from the camera to the phone so that is a really cool thing to uh, find out about so remember to subscribe to the channel so you'll see that and hopefully you guys will enjoy it like if i like i said before if you want this drone i'll leave a link in the description down below where you can get it so till next time, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's pretty much it for the YLRC 4K mini foldable drone. Till next time, remember to be safe, take care, have fun, and peace out, people. Bam!